I'm going to show you this cool bed. I had to show my friend. She came over today. And she said, I want to see your prayer room. And I said, okay, but it's not, it's not as clean as it was because I've been laying on the bed. And she said, oh, I don't care. So let me show you all this bed. And I mean, y'all see Mama. Y'all are not going to believe today. I made Mama's famous. This is the coolest bed. I made Mama's famous sponge cake. She got three ribbons at county fairs for it. And I made it today. Let me take it down to flat. I made it today. And I found a video of Mama, y'all, telling me how to make that cake. How exciting is that? She's actually laying in this bed when she does it. So look, it goes all the way flat. Then you can press a button for lounge. And it'll fold you all the way up. So like when I'm reading my Bible and stuff. Um, I should put this on my links because I actually bought Mama this on Amazon, believe it or not. I bought her the mattress and I bought her the bed on Amazon. It's a 12-inch, like, thick memory foam mat mattress. But look, isn't it cool? It'll raise up my legs, like if you've got, um, you know, like if you've got swelling or whatever. Um, you can keep your legs elevated. You can keep your back elevated. I just love it. But you can sit here and, and, and read, put a pillow right here and put your book on it, and it's just perfect. The base to this bed costs, I want to say, around $780, and then the mattress was a different price, and I don't remember how much the mattress was, but I just wanted y'all to see how much fun I'm having in my prayer room. <laughs> and you know what I do? After I, um, after I read my books, then I fall asleep just like this. It's the best ever. Now, I'm going to get Thor out and let y'all see him. <sighs> I should have put the bed down. But anyway, we have these memory foam mattresses. I had gotten Mama one. I have gotten my younger daughter one. We have one in our bedroom. We have one at the beach. And they're absolutely dreamy and they're not that expensive. Nothing like the Tempur-Pedics are. And they have just been a blessing to my whole family. And every time my best friend goes down to the beach, she's like, oh, I just love your bed. And so they're very reasonably priced. So maybe I will put them on my um, links. I need to make some um, everyday links of things we use. All right, let me grab him. Now, y'all haven't seen May's side of the room. It's quite looking like a teenager. Do you see the difference from one side to the other? But you know that's part of it. Um, so I just kind of stay on my side, and then this is her side. And this is where she does her crafts and her paintings and her, you know, journaling and all that stuff. And let's see if we can find Thor. Thor, where are you? He is probably, oh, there he is. Where are you at, boy? It's hard to get him, y'all. Okay. Let's let y'all see my Thor. This is a, about as big as he will ever get. Um, he is about, I would say, what, two feet or so? Um, the, the, the females get to be about three feet, but the males only get to be about two feet, I think. And so, um, that's him. He is called a sand boa. So, um, I guess y'all can see him. He's a sand boa. So, anyway, um, I told y'all that they don't bother me, and they really don't. Thor, can you say hello to the camera? Say hello to the camera, Thor. Y'all probably think I'm crazy. There he is. He don't even have legs. Why are people so scared of snakes? I don't understand. So anyway, we'll put him up in his little house. Now, 
Now, the problem that I have with him, this is the problem that I have with Thor. And that is, Thor will live to be 30 years old. 30 years old. Who wants to take care of a snake for 30 years? I don't. So Maya's going to college, and we're left with Thor. He eats live mice. The good thing about him, when she got him, I said, don't you even think about getting one of those real big snakes because you have to feed them those big rats. And I'm not doing that. So I told her, I said, if you get one, you can't get one that gets hardly, I don't want it to get over three feet, period. And so she got him, and he'll probably get bigger around, but he's probably as long as he'll ever be. So I can handle feeding him a little mouse, although it is kind of sad, but um, I could probably do it. Now, the other snake that we had was a rosy boa, and she died because the pet store sold us mice with E. coli. They were frozen mice. She ate frozen mice. She would take them out of a package. You would warm them up under some warm water, and then you would dangle them, but they were dead, and she would eat them. Well, they had a coli in them, and so she died. A $99 snake dead, and she was a really pretty snake, prettier than Thor. But anyway, she was real orange, and um, so we decided this time we were feeding live because then we wouldn't have to worry about feeding them something that was going to kill him. So the live mice all come from the same place May got them, and we don't have to worry about them being bad. Anyway, um, I think right now he eats fuzzies, so they're, my dogs are barking, but, so they're, they're not very big. But I had a video, I think it might be on Real Southern Woman too, when we go in there where we got him, how many different um, reptiles are in there. They have some really, really cool lizards and bugs that they feed on and just gross stuff and really cool fish too so anyway I know I just like stuff like that um but I guess I may um keep it while she's gone I have to decide if I'm going to or not because she had a friend that might do it but I'm not sure if he's going to get to but yeah they don't bother me now if poisonous snakes yeah I don't want anything to do with them but um, the other snakes don't bother me at all. He's not poisonous. Uh, and he's really docile, really. The, the snakes that you can buy, lots of the snakes that you can buy for pets, like the rosy boa, she's like the most docile snake there is. So you don't ever have to worry about them biting you. And their teeth are so doggone little, if they bit you, it wouldn't hurt. But anyway, um, I hope y'all have a blessed day. I don't know if y'all got to see fireworks or not last night. But I know one thing, I had to burrito wrap my dog. I don't know if y'all burrito wrap your dogs or if y'all have one of those lightning vests. But I just take a blanket and put it into a square just like I did my babies when they were born. And I take the corner and I put it in between Happy's legs. And then I take the side and I wrap it as tight as I can. And then I wrap the other side over her and I hold her like a burrito. And do you know she really, it does make her feel better. So, um, that's a pretty cool little trick if you don't want to spend $40 on one of those vests. Just wrap them like you do a baby if you can remember how you did it. Or, um, surely if you haven't had one, somebody in your family's had one. It's so funny because, um, when people first have their babies and you tell them to wrap them tight, they're scared to wrap them. And you're like, if you would just wrap that baby up tight as you could wrap it, it would be so much more content and sleep through the night. You just have no idea. Neither one of my kids, I am not kidding y'all. When I had my babies, they were in their own bed within a week. I'm not exaggerating. I did not sleep with my kids. They were content. They were happy in their own bed. They started sleeping all night so fast, nobody could believe it. But I let them, you know, have their own space. And even when they were sick and little, they never come and got in the bed with me um, because they were very happy in their own bed. I loved it. And it's much better on the relationship with the spouse, too, I have to say. Um, I think. 
And I'm sure glad I've done it now since I got breast cancer at 40 and had both my breasts taken off. So I only had a few good years with my husband. Real good years. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day and we will talk to y'all tomorrow. I made a sponge cake today. I made a buttermilk pie today. And we are not going to do that keto diet is for the birds, but we are doing the USDA regulation diet and the sponge cake is fine to eat. I can't eat much of that buttermilk pie, but um, we lost, I lost 20 pounds before we went to LA last fall. Chris lost 30 and we did it pretty quick just eating the food groups. You do not have to give up your carbs. You do not have to give up anything. You can still have your fruit. You just have to do it in moderation and that's what we're doing. So um, if you want to know how much a woman over 50 is supposed to get, um, I believe you get one and a half cups of fruit, two cups of vegetables, five ounces of grains. Three of those have to be whole grains. Five ounces of meat, protein. And have I missed something? I did vegetables, fruits, protein, oh, milks. You get, um, I forget how many ounces of milk, but you get so many servings of milk. And I want to say it's five. Uh, so you can have a yogurt, you can have milk with your breakfast, but you got to eat brand cereal and not eat the junky kind. And you got, but I mean, it makes a huge difference. If you go get a snack, you get an apple. If you go, you know, you don't eat. And the sponge cake that I made today is very, very, very low. It's not like eating cake cake. So, because you don't have the heavy icing and um, it's not got a whole lot of sugar in it. So, but uh, me and Chris will lose weight, watch and see. And we won't be giving up nothing. So, I can actually have a cooking show. I was thinking when I started doing those keto recipes, Oh my gosh, for one, I've done three, and I need to put them on video, but they're so nasty, and I got heartburn so bad, and they really weren't tasty to me. Now, to some people, they might like it, but not me. I'm used to eating good food. So, um, me and ha me and when Amy came in here and said she wanted to change up, me and Chris were so happy. We're like, yes. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we're going to... Uh, be on Family Food Fight this Thursday, too. But I'll see y'all Monday night. Love ya. Thanks for tuning in. I talked a lot, but the Braves is on. Bye. Love ya. I gotta fix this phone. <laughs>